Welcome back, everybody, once again to Hollow Knight. I am TJ the Obscure here with you, and we are hanging out here at the charm shop. You know, I know I did this off camera, and I can't remember if I included it in any of the extra footage that I had, but you can access the lake from right over here. And I started to go, but I didn't, I didn't go all the way. Never, ever go all the way. But, uh, yeah, I kind of forget what's at the end over here. Is it just taking us back to the burial grounds? Or is this going to take us to the end of the world or whatever the heck it's called? I do not know, but we will figure it out. How is everybody's day going? My day is going fantabulous. It is a Sunday. Everybody is gone. I have the house to myself. And that means I'm going to play video games and record videos for YouTube. And of course, drink lots of lots of coffee. Lots and lots of coffee. Recently, we've been playing a lot of board games here at my house. Just trying to do more things together as a family. So we've started gardening together as a family. We play lots of video games together as a family. And, um... You know, it almost looks like we can, like, do something up here. No? Okay. Okay, just making sure. And we've played games together for, for a while now. Various games. Wait, that is not... Or is it the burial grounds? And then we're just supposed to go up over here. There's a path that we can go down in the burial grounds. It takes us to that one lady's place. And I think also connects to Deep Nest. And we do have the tram key, so we can take the tram to wherever that leads us. We can also start doing some of these dream battles, I suppose. But yeah, we, let's see, we've had the game Trouble for a long time. I told you about the issues that I had buying the game Life. And, uh, oh, I should... Yes, it's like, I probably should have... Yes, actually... Um, talk, talk to him before I just started yes, swinging at him, you know? Yes, Hey, come back. Oh, I think, nope, okay. We did not get hit that time. Now things get real. Alright, easy enough, easy enough. So we, uh, I finally did get the game live. And we got to play. We also played Monopoly recently. Ah, I can see now. Those who turn against the king are doomed as soon as they raise their weapon. Do not call me a traitor. Simply call me a fool. I know you will not flee. Wherever you go, I will be watching. I'll be watching you every breath you... That's such a creepy song, man. And what that guy just told me right now is pretty creepy, too. I don't want you watching me. What if I want my privacy? Huh? What do I do then? There's just nothing I can do with your little ghost following me around everywhere. I'm trying to remember... That takes us there. Isn't there like a thing that we can break to go down though? Is it back over here maybe? Perhaps? Um, now Monopoly is one of those games where like it seems like a good idea. Like, oh this will be fun. But then it's not. It's so boring and it just lasts forever. <laughs> now, we actually follow the rules because I didn't know this, but we... And we have like a kid's version of it. 
So it's it's kind of simplified. But uh, okay, this is I think what I was what I was talking about here. Oh, creepy noises! Creepy noises! Why do I feel like there's a way for me to go over here? No. All right, I think to the right is the one lady's place, so we'll go there first. And I have to do that that race thing where I make it from here to somewhere. I forget where. But like without getting hit, I think. It's like the, the delicate flower or whatever. Free money. Free money. We'll take all the free money. But one thing I, I never knew about Monopoly is that, like, if you land on a property, you have to buy it. Or it goes up for sale for everybody else. That is something I was never aware of, or if I was, we just never played by those rules. But that certainly helps to make it go faster. This time that we played, I got so lucky I landed on... Uh, both Boardwalk and Park Place, although they're called something different. So I think it's like... Is it like food themed, maybe? Like there's like a taco stand that you can own? I don't know. Anyways. Um... But gosh, it's still... It's even with playing by the rules and even playing the kitty version and stuff, it's still just so... such a boring game. I don't know how much truth there is to it, but it's it was supposedly invented to teach people about the dangers of of unchecked capitalism. But we're not doing a good job here, are we? Um, because the idea is that... <laughs> okay, I was trying to check that wall, just to make sure. The idea is that once somebody gets a monopoly, right, there's basically no way you can come back from that. Um, man, oh man, I'm just falling into every little pit thing. But again, I don't know how much truth there is to that. Oh gosh, she does two per per attack. I don't think I realized that. Uh, yes please, don't mind if I do. More secrets? Any more secrets for us? Uh, I think this is a spell, right? Soul Eater. Well, I will take all the charms I can get, although we will most likely never use them. I feel like there's another way to go up, right? Did we skip it? Possibly. So, yeah, but my, I don't know, my daughter seemed to kind of enjoy it. And then life. So Life is a game that I, like, Candyland, Life, and Monopoly were probably the three, and Trivial Pursuit are probably the four board games that we played most growing up uh, in my family. And I couldn't believe it, but when I pulled out Life, my wife told me that she had never played it before, which is just insane to me. I mean... At least for somebody who grew up in the same town as me, in the same era, you know, similar, similar, a lot of similar things going on that she had never played it. She talked to her mom about it, and her mom's like, yeah, no, we played that. But <laughs> my wife has no recollection of it. So it was a new experience for her and for my son and for, for everybody involved except for me. Um, and it was interesting, to say the least. Me on this world, this cruel, sinful world. Why does she wake? Why does she persist? Alimur! Oh gosh, I skipped through that one, sorry. And now, midlit lover, dead so long in time, dead so far away, buried Moina. Aye, amongst its hateful kin that did deny our union, that did reject Jay's outsideness. She doesn't suppose. No, 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 no. Could she ask? Could she burden? Lemur. I think it's supposed to be like, let me, maybe? Would you, could you deliver a gift to her grave? Okay, I'm not reading it like that anymore. The gift is maybe small, but the trek is long. She rests amongst her kind near our queen's lush refuge. No, I don't want to accept your gift. 
Yes, I'm turning it away, because I don't like you. No, I don't want to listen to you again. No, 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 no. Okay. Especially because we don't even have that area unlocked yet, as far as I know. What am I doing with my charms right now? What do I have? Oh, we have enough to put on one more. I'm going to do Gathering Swarm just so we don't miss out on any any Geo. Alright, well, we've made it to the Grey Mourner, but we're not going to do that right now. We have other things to focus on at the moment. I think... Let's go this way. I forget where this takes us at. That's where we came in initially, right? Uh, my daughter got a kick out of it. She she chose not to go to college. And she drew the dancer career card. So my daughter was a dancer. And she also built robots and flew into outer space. So she had a, you know, all around very su successful life. I would say. My wife ended up having like eight children. Uh, my son really struggled with college debt. And somehow I ended up being a millionaire. I mean, I did choose the doctor career card and and stuff, but it was it was kind of weird how I ended up winning. I, just, I won by just drawing a bunch of cards. But yeah, they've, they've changed it a little bit since I played it as a kid. They've added some new elements, like you can get pets now and stuff, which I don't remember at all. Is this a chest? Oh, it is. Yeah, no, we probably want to grab that, huh? That would be smart. Um, but it was funny because, you know, you have kids in the game. I don't, I don't know if you have to have kids. I think it's kind of up to chance, ultimately. Is this, this is taking us back to the city, right? Hmm... I need to remember where to get the next pail or so that we can upgrade our nail once again. And I feel like there's still more to the sewers that we never really uncovered. There is, of course, more to the city here as well. Um, but maybe we should head down. Wait, the, the Watcher's Spire, is that right over here? Or is that what we're in currently? I've kind of forgotten. What a surprise. What a surprise. No, go back. Go back. Oh, I'm confusing the camera. Um, but it was really funny playing with my son. My son is still, he's 13, but he's still just so... I don't want to tell you guys what I was doing when I was 13 years old. Especially with two older brothers, you can just imagine what I was up to. But my son is very... Yeah, I was talking with my dad about this the other day, and, and he's like, you know, you gotta let him live, and you gotta let him make his own choices and stuff. And I'm like... Like, as though, like, we're, like, purposefully sheltering him, but he's just kind of a... Kind of a loner, I guess. He's not introverted either. He's very outgoing when he's around people, but he doesn't seem to seek that out. I guess that's kind of kind of like me. I'm. I think I'm much shyer than he is, but. Um. But he's just so very like his one of his favorite things to do is his hang out at home with his little sister. Right? Like who? What thirteen-year-old? likes to hang out at home with their little five-year-old sister. And he's so good with her, like, I I keep telling my wife, like, he should really, when he grows up, consider doing something with, um, with kids, you know? Something in education, maybe? Because <clears throat> he's just so good with them, and he seems to really en enjoy it. He just has a lot of fun. Uh, but at the same time, he's very, again, kind of innocent, and just... Um... <laughs> Yeah, it still tells us when he hears cuss words and stuff. I think this is the Temple of Love or whatever, right? Oh, isn't this with the Collector? We can't access. I must open this from somewhere else. 
Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and take you out like that. I feel like we're missing something here. There's more to this, but maybe there's another, another room that I'm thinking of. And so I was curious to see how he was going to react to the game of life, because in that you get married, right? Which to him, that's like the grossest thing you could ever do. Well, having kids is the grossest thing you could ever do next to getting married. But he actually handled it really well. He was he was just like, does having kids make you money? And I'm like, yeah, you get 50000 for each kid that you have. And he's like, okay, I'll take some kids then. So despite being... Um, Still kind of in that whole cootie stage. He's very, very pragmatic when he approaches things in life. So I guess that's, that's good, right? Uh, we may not be able to make much progress here. I'm hoping that we can at least make it to the arena because I'm fairly certain that beating the arena does unlock... Oh gosh, we're going to fall all the way down. does unlock uh, or win us a pale ore. Um, but it's also funny because he started sex education. He has two weeks, I think, of sex education. And he had it in fifth grade, but uh, I, somehow he ended up getting out of it. Somehow he did. I'm not sure how exactly. I think he may have signed the permission form himself. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Maybe we had a talk and I said it's up to him. That's a possibility as well. But uh, regardless, so this is his first time in sex ed, and he's he's home now, right? It's all online, and he takes his class. I'm I'm often in here working on stuff on my computer, and so I get to listen to him doing his stuff, and just like every ten seconds, it's just like oh, ah, uh, ew, ah, uh, I don't want to, ew, no, don't, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I hate this class, I hate this class, I hate this. It's just, it's very entertaining. Isn't this a cozy hole? I've been, I've been venturing about that wilderness beside here and thought a moment's break was well called for. The landscape's all rather serene this side of the city, though the inhabitants are as ferocious as ever. Uh, yes, we will purchase a copy of the map. Um... These both take us to City of Tears. I want to say the bottom one takes us to the sewer system, though, right? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't want to go all the way down. Well, we're all the way down now. But that's not a direction to go. Uh, alrighty then. So, yeah. That's been very, very entertaining the last week or so. I remember you guys. Yeah, I feel like we're not supposed to be here yet. But the fact that we're here means that there's no problem with us being here. Otherwise, the game would not allow it. Bouncy, bouncy. You can bounce and I can bounce too. You guys are three-shot kills, really? Wow. It's probably a good place to grind for some Geo. Uh, oh man. I gotta remember how to fight you guys, especially if we plan on doing the arena anytime soon. Is that something? Did I unlock something? No? Okay. Left, right, right, left. There's a bench way at the end, it says. Whoa, my gosh, you scared me, guy. You're so big and scary. Okay. Uh, best way to do this, I guess, is just something like that. Not too bad. I like this music, too. This music is, is very enchanting, much like the music in the city, but it isn't as sad. Which is nice. It reminds me of like a Tim Burton film or something. Sounds like somebody's scratching on my door.
Uh, you making my job too easy there, guy. They're big and they're strong, but boy, are they dumb. One thing, I just, I don't want to, like, accidentally, I think that wall is a false wall. I accidentally walk into, like, a boss fight that I can't handle at this point. No? It really looked like one. I was certain it was one. Is this the uh, other Nailsmith guy? It looks like it. I think this is the third and final one then, right? I don't have to fight him, do I? <laughs> hmm. How did you find me? Down here where the world ends. Yes, I know why you're here. You came to learn a nail art from the legendary nail master Oro. It is a law of the great nail sage that I must pass down my teachings to those who are worthy, but no law forbids me from exacting a payment for my time. If you truly wish to train under me, prove it with Geo. Do I really have to pay him? What a ripoff, man. Dash slash. Okay. Again, I feel like that's one that I haven't really, yeah, didn't really use very often, but... I could be wrong about that. Oh, okay. Just making sure there's no secrets. So we... Like that, right? Is that really that different? It doesn't seem that different from the regular Slash. I guess it's a little bigger, huh? I wonder if it does more damage as well. That's kind of spooky. Oh, there's stuff there too. Um... I'm trying to remember what's down here. Just making sure. Oops. Wrong location. Let's get all the soul power that we can. Oh, come on. Don't do it, don't do it to me, don't do it to me. Okay, we're good, we're good. I just heard a caterpillar, I think. Whoa. Are these, do these guys multiply? Yeah, there's definitely a caterpillar. I wanna... Double check. Oh, okay, it must be further down. Or maybe up, I guess? Ooh, I don't know if... Oh, yeah, no, we can do that. Donde esta el caterpillaro? Anybody know? Um... Ooh, yeah, that's not good. Alright, let's heal. I feel like we should have gone to our right first. Oh, this is taking us to the B place, yeah? I'd forgotten about this place. At least I hear the B place. Oh, gosh. That wasn't very nice. No, nothing? Okay. Oh, no, no, come back. I think we should go back and look for the, uh... The... Caterpillar that we left behind. 
the big scary guy, and there's also the heart noise. Did he, like, kill himself on a spike or something, like I just did? Uh, stay away. Oh, he made it through. Hey, how come you're allowed to do that, but I'm not? Gosh dang it. Something there. Okay, this is probably the caterpillar that we heard. I'm hoping. It really looks to be the case. Yeah, do they just keep coming? Do they just keep spawning? Never ending supply of enemies? Enter? I don't know if I want to enter. It looks kind of scary in there. I feel like we find some some old ancient thing in here, right? Is this the path to the kingdom? I thought we took the tram to get there. I feel like I'm not gonna have enough soul power to make it. I vaguely have a memory of me coming down here and not being able to make it all the way for some reason. Oh no, come on. We are very, very far down here. Very, very far. Oh, I need my little mushroom charm to uh, bring that guy out, right? No, no secrets. No secrets. Oh, no, I did it. Yep, told you. Told you. Alright, so we're gonna go all the way back to the top. Whoa. Oh my gosh, he's bugging out. He's bugging out. You get it? Bugging out? Because... Yeah. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll leave it there. <laughs> that was actually hilarious. I Yeah, okay. Let's heal, although I'm kind of wondering if that really was the best option here or not. Just want to make sure that we have enough power to make it all the way down. This might be... Is this where we get the shadow dash? I need to just stop asking questions like that, huh? It's just, like, just wait and see, guy. Um... Yes. Give me all of the soul power. Yeah, this is looking like the kingdom to me, right? Whoa. I thought that was just like background decoration, but that's a giant geo cache. No way, that's all there is to this, right? No. Right? Alright, well let's go and see what the bees are all about. There's a rancid egg nearby too. I'm thinking it's above us there. Again, we don't really have much use for those guys, so... Not too concerned about it. Does this lead us to the actual hive? Ooh, what are you? Quick slash. Well, don't mind if I do. How did I dodge all those, you guys? Um, no, I don't think there's anything there. Okay, that's why I was remembering there being an opening.
Uh, I think that's it, right? I need to find a bench that we can sit at so that we can update the map. Although, no, it goes up right here, too. And I hear things. It sounds like it's probably a mask. And let's go to the right first, because I think going left will take us up. Oh, wait, there's a... Oh, I guess we gotta come... Wait, we have to come from above? Alright. Ah, uh, we can't make it past that guy. Alright, unlock it, and then go and grab... The Wanderer's Journal. Come back here, guy. Don't run from me. Don't run from me. Ooh, we got spiky parkour stuff. Oop, do I have to go back around? Okay. Uh, we're just gonna pretend like you guys aren't there. Sound good? Oh gosh, what was that? Oh, it's a falling spike. Oh, come on, let me get up. Okay, we'll just do that then. And we're just gonna speed run to the top. Speed run. Okay, maybe not speed run to the top. We're gonna do a little bouncy bounce. Isn't this where we like tickle that guy's bottom or whatever? I think that's somewhere around here. Gotta keep that health up. Oh no, we can't make it. We can't reach. But you know what? We would be able to reach if I had kept some of these mobs around. So that I could bounce off their stupid heads. Where's the fly guys that we ran from earlier? They can help us out here, I think. I never did get this, right? Yeah, I couldn't figure out where to go in there. Hey, wait, we've been here before. This is where we were at the start of the episode. So we made it all the way around. I want to go back and try to make it up right there. I feel like maybe trying to regen some health first would be... Or some soul power would be a good idea. Have you respawned yet? Anybody, come and attack me, please. Um, what's over here? I don't think we came over here last time, did we? You know, this song actually reminds me a little bit of a song from Final Fantasy VII. I'm trying to think of when it plays. And nothing's coming to mind for me now. Alright, well, since we couldn't get those guys to respawn, I guess we're just going to have to continue coming upwards to see what we can find. I almost feel like we're, like, back at the start now, yeah? But maybe we're further up. We're able to go around kind of thing. What are you? I don't like you. I don't think we want to go over here, right? Doesn't this lead us back down? I think that we want to keep going up. To get to the arena. Which, honestly, the arena kind of scares me because I know that I struggled with the final boss on it. And 
And that's one that I may need to do some preparation for. To ensure we don't lose it. Although we handled Nosk pretty well. And that's another one that I had struggled with, I think, the first time around. Oh, hey, secrets. Um, okay, well that didn't quite work, but you know, we're just gonna do this. Oh gosh. Okay, we're okay. It was probably not worth it. It's just gonna be like a little Wonders Journal or something, huh? King's Idol? I guess that's... I guess that's okay. Those are worth a little more money. The bats in this game kind of sound like my cats in real life. Which is kind of funny if you ask me. I don't know if I want to fall down here or not. Oh man. Wait, isn't this where we came in? I think so. Yes. Whoa, okay. Hey, that was cool. It was almost like using a creeper. I didn't I don't think I realized that you could do that with the bats. Where are we? Have we finally made it to the arena? I believe that we have. All right, well, it was a long journey and we took a few detours here and there, but we did finally make it here to the, re the arena. I don't know if we'll be doing this next episode or if I want to go and try to get some more pale ore first, but uh, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.